I like big blooms, I cannot lie. If you like big blooms, but you don't like to color like me, I have a really easy idea to use those blooms and make them look great. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I am sharing yet another Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber exclusive from Alex Siberia Designs. So if you love big blooms, but you don't like to color them, stick around. I've got a card idea that you can do coming up next. Here's a look at the exclusive Stamp Timber release for Alex Siberia Designs, and this is called A New Dream. This stamp set has beautiful blooms, gorgeous sentiments, and there are also coordinating dies available while supplies last. Once these are sold out, they are gone for the year. However, what I'm gonna show you today would also work with any type of large bloom style of stamp, especially if you might be like me and a bloom like this to color might seem a little intimidating. I'm gonna show you a way to take some cardstock strips, stamp a little and eliminate the need to color, but still create a cool graphic design for your card. All right, let's get started with the strips. I've got a piece of Nina Classic Crest in the solar white, and this is the 80 pound weight. I don't need a heavy weight. I don't have any white copy paper, or otherwise I would have done something a little cheaper, but I'm gonna take my Gina K Designs tape runner and I'm gonna make a panel of strips. And all I'm gonna do here is just go all the way down and basically cover most of the panel. I like to put a piece of, this is some nice, cheap, really lightweight copy paper. I just don't like to get the tape runner on my mat. Even though these glass mats are pretty easy to clean, I always find that uh, Whenever I get tape runner on them, <laughs> it kinda, I, I don't see it and then I forget where it is and then I have a mess. So now all I'm gonna do is add my strips of cardstock in rainbow order, basically. Rainbow starting with the green. And actually, well, I guess I didn't need all these strips to be this size, but you know, you cut and you move on. I'm going to turn it this way because sometimes it's easier for me to butt these up against. All right, let's speed this up. Now all of my strips are on. I'm just going to burnish this down a nice press on there and now I can lift these up and I'll just take some large scissors here and just kind of trim off the excess I don't need all of this so get that cut there cut, cut. and cut now I have a panel that looks like this and I'm going to stamp my floral image right onto this panel and then emboss it in white. So let me get set up to stamp. I'm gonna pop this right into my Misty and I have this on a grip mat. So that should hold nicely in place. And I'm just gonna pop my bloom right in the center. Just maybe, and I'm gonna, I am gonna be cropping this. I just haven't decided exactly how or how it's gonna work. In fact, maybe, maybe the crop is gonna be more from this side. And this is the thing, you don't know until you finish and do your design, but I actually think this could be kind of cool off to the side. It will make sense, I hope. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna prime this a bit because it's the first time I'm using it. I want to take anti-static powder. This is from Simon Says Stamp and add quite a bit, especially over here where the exposed adhesive is still. And this is just so that when I stamp my image with my clear embossing ink, that when I add my white powder, it only sticks to where this ink is and not anywhere else on the panel. So we're gonna ink it up with the clear embossing ink. Bring this down and press. Now, this is not a new technique, right? This is, a lot of people have done this. I've seen it done, but I feel like I've never done it myself. And that is one of the things that I love about card making is I, 
I feel like you could make hundreds of cards and still have new techniques to try. And that's, I think, one of the things that hooked me because I never did anything crafty like this in all my years as a scrapbooker. But boy, I tell you what, it comes to card making, I'm doing things I never thought I would do. All right, I'm gonna leave that there just in case I decide I wanna redo anything. Take this out and now we'll add our powder. Let's add our powder, fine detail white, because, because this will give it some nice contrast. So we're just gonna drop that on like this. All right, and tap it off. Now this might take a little cleanup, right? Because I'm seeing areas where I probably should have had way more anti-static powder. But you know what? I've got a brush and I'm not afraid to use it. So I'll funnel this back in and the cleanup will begin. Actually, I think this is good to show you because I want you to know not everything comes through perfectly easy every time. So that's why I keep dry brushes like this, this angled shader, to do the best I can cleaning up my image. I'm gonna take my time, work my way around, I think because I was handling so much of this cardstock. It's gonna take me a little bit, but I'm gonna get it all cleaned up with a brush and then we'll melt the powder. Now you can see how the image comes to life and really pops off the panel. Now there's a few areas and also you have to make sure after you heat strips that have glue, make sure that you press it back down uh, just so that it stays adhered. But I'm going to get a die and we're going to cut this out. Next I'm going to take one of my A2 layers dies and come up with crop that I like. It's got to fit the whole bloom and you know what, I might need to come down one size, which is fine. That's what I love about having something like this and especially with the dies, then you can crop it however you like it. And I definitely want to have a little bit of this bleeding out that way. And I think that crop right there, yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And maybe we'll come up a little more so we're almost the same with the green and the purple. Okay, now this is a little warpy, but this is gonna help to flatten it out. This panel cut cuts beautifully and then it creates this nice finished edge all the way around. I'm gonna pop this into a little book while I work on my greeting. I love the scripty, light, delicate font on this, the Dream Big. This would be, yeah. Oh, I just think that's beautiful. Dream big. And we'll see here. I'm going to drop this down on some purple. And I'm also going to do the greeting that says congratulations on your incredible journey. Because either or would make a great greeting for this card. Pick those up. And I will press this back down. Put that on here ink up. I don't want to press too hard because these are delicate. In fact, I might have gotten that one a little bit off with the paper. <laughs> I went up too high, you know what? Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna flip the paper. That's what you do. You flip it, you make sure that's better. Okay, it works. <laughs> and stamp. Okay, dream big and Congratulations on your incredible journey. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks really good. That 
is so pretty. I love them both. So I'm gonna cut these out and we will put our card together. I'm just going to use my Simon Says Stamp Sentiment Labels to trim down my little greeting strips. So I'll go ahead and run this through my die cut machine. These dies also come with little banner notch things and I love to use them even when I don't get them lined up. I love the way they look. So I'm gonna put this through my die cut machine as well. Next, I'm going to make a white note card. So I'm gonna score this right at five and a half. And this will fold down to be a top folding USA 2 I'm gonna give that a press with my bone folder. All right. Got some Ulta New foam tape on the back here. And I'm just gonna release the backers with my piercing end of my pierce and place wand. Oh, I love that big framing margin space all the way around. Now, if you are if you are a stickler, I'm zooming in here so you can see this, and you have a couple little places where there's maybe little pieces of powder that you don't want to see there. I have the weirdest tool, and it sounds like a dental tool, but it's not. It's called the Couture Creations Creative Detailer, and it works almost like an eraser. It kind of just buffs off little areas. You can't hit it too hard too long because you don't want to take too much, but it's just for the few errant. Like I've got some extra powders over here and there and I'm fine with that. I think it's kind of pretty, but you can work your way around if you want and clean it up. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes it comes in really handy. I really love the Dream Big, so I'm just gonna snip the end here. I like to use my uh, little mini guillotine for this rather than scissors, because I can't cut straight to save my life. I'll just put some foam on the back here. This is some waffle flower foam strip tape. And I think, there we go, yeah. This is gonna be popped up nicely and so it gives it separation from the purple underneath. And I think that's really pretty. So let's add this, get the backer off here. And I'm gonna grab this with my tweezers and I'm gonna put a little strip of glue just to give me a little float time. This is Connect Glue from Gina K Designs. And then here's the fun thing. This has a lip on it. So you can use your T-square not only to place your piece, but to line it up on the edge as well. Now it slides a little, it slides because of the glue, but hold on here, this is the beauty. We're gonna come here, we're gonna come down just a little, right in there. And now that's where we're gonna apply our pressure and wait till it stops slipping around. The thing is, is that foam tape just sticks like a mother. And I tell you what, I never want to lift it once I've placed it, which is why once you get it in the right place, it's not going anywhere and it's good to go. Let's add a little shine to this card. Got some satin silver pearls from Studio Katya and I really like this simple arrangement. Can I get up there a little, come up here and five in total. So we'll just use our liquid glue again, and I'll pick that up, put that right on the seam, and the glue will dry clear. And boop, get on there. And the last one here, and boop. And that is my finished card project. Again, this is such an easy type of project to make, especially for those of you who don't love to color blooms, but you love the blooms, right? There are many different ways you could take different colors. You could definitely go a lot softer than what I did, but I really felt like a bold statement with these stripes, and I'm really happy with how this card turned out.
You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. Remember, this is a Stamp Timber exclusive, so when it sells out, it is gone for good. However, I hope you can take inspiration into other stamps you may already have on hand that have big blooms that you can create with today. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you, so hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. A few more card projects that skirt the issue of having to color extensively, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.